Daniel. How's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man and I'm here with Ruin Japan. Hello, how you doing? Why are we in Akihabara, Joey? Because we're standing in front of uh, this ramen restaurant here, right here called Yaro Ramen, oh. which means dude ramen. That's literally what that means. For me, Yaro Ramen means terror because I know what's coming. So five years ago, if you know Chris's channel, then you might have seen a little video called the Monster Ramen Challenge. And uh, weirdly enough, it's actually the first video that I commented on. Oh really? After I met you. Oh wow. Yeah, that was five years ago. Can you imagine? And now you're here about to do the very same challenge yourself. Exactly. I'm not stealing Chris's idea. <laughs> I swear. He's run out of ideas. But no, not only is this going to be a first time challenge for me, but it's also going to be a five year redemption arc for Chris because you That's lost right. to Natsuki in I, your video. I, I lost to Natsuki. I lost at Wankasova Noodle Challenge, which he did which recently. I did. And the Gyoza Challenge. I've lost everything. Right. So this is the beginning of a redemption arc. I'm going to win. I'm going to eat all the ramen. Yep. I'm going to get the money. Yeah. One bet. Yep. 10,000 yen, 30 minute time limit and uh, see who can eat the most. And it's gonna be me. Don't be so sure, Joey. Don't I'm... be so sure. Let's go, come All right. on. Let's get it over with. This is very nostalgic. It takes me back to a simpler time. That is huge. It smells pretty good though. Mm. I like a lot of bean sprouts and pork. Yeah, it's bigger than I remember. It's like a Mount Fuji kind of shape to it, right? <laughs> the only thing I've eaten today is a, a salad. When I used to do these challenges, I wouldn't eat anything. But that makes your stomach small, mm. I find. So you need to kind of warm it up with something. So right. I get a salad. So we got our ramen, as you can see, or what is, I think, ramen. Yours is like leaking from the side. Leaking. Yeah, <laughs> look, it's like leaking right yeah. here. What is it? Is it miso broth? It smells like miso. Leaking off the side of the bowl. Yeah. It does smell kind of good. You got the kind of the mm. pork, you got the staggering amount of bean sprouts and yeah. an egg there. Cheese, and, and you get an egg. option of either getting the bean sprouts fried or raw. raw. Right. What yeah. do we go for? We fried. go for fried. I prefer fried, fried personally. Good God. But yeah, we got the timer. 30 minutes. I've got the Ichimayan prize money. I'm actually gonna win this. I can feel it. I'm actually really hungry for once. And uh I haven't had ramen in so long. <laughs> So I'm kind of scared. Are you ready? How do you even start? Okay, ready? How do you start? Yeah. How do you even start? Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Take us. Hmm. Moi is good. Hold up. It's a bit spicy. I don't know if either of us are going to finish it, but whoever finishes the most, mm. Luke the cameraman will uh, determine who the winner is. It's better than I remember. Really? It's better than I remember. Let's try the thick ass meat. Thick ass meat. No, no. Look at the size of that pork. Look at it. And that's one of three massive pieces. I do like a good char shoe in my ramen. I've also got bamboo sprouts. I can't even eat it. So big. <laughs> God damn it. I'm wondering, is it even humanly possible to finish this in 30 minutes? The tactic that I'm employing is to eat as much as I can in the first 20 minutes mm. before my stomach realizes how fucked it really is. You can't let the brain catch up. <laughs> I've never had this many brain sprouts in my life. <laughs> can I get to the ramen soon? Fuck's sake. I don't even think I got to the noodles last time I did really? this. Really? It was that bad. Uh, the, the, there's so many bean sprouts and pork. I just call this bean sprout challenge. It really is. Not quite the same though, is it? But How much bean sprouts would there be in this? Enough to kill a small child. <laughs> if you're having ramen, keep tissues on that on standby. Yeah. Trust me. The pork is actually really quite juicy. Mm. It's done a good job. I like it when the, it kind of just crum crumbles apart mm. Right? Mm. like that. When I come for ramen, the three key things I evaluate on are quality of the broth, mm -hmm. the quality of the needles, and the quality of the braised pork. And I'll give the braised pork here a seven out of ten. The soup, I'll give that a, probably give that a seven. Not gonna lie, I haven't reached the soup yet. <laughs> the spoon of wonders, to get to the soup. Yeah, it's pretty good. Why is yours like already half gone? I haven't started. What's going on? It's been five minutes exactly, and uh, I've almost reached the ramen. Jesus. My jaw is going to be in so much pain after this. I'm never having bean sprouts again. No, no. Seriously, what the fuck? Who was like, you know what's missing from my bowl of ramen? Enough bean sprouts to feed all of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a farmer who had too many leftover bean sprouts. So he met the owner of the ramen shop and he was like, you want some more bean sprouts? How <laughs> many bean sprouts do you want? Yes. Yes. How often do you have ramen? Nowadays, not so much. Because I very quickly realized how fucking unhealthy it is. It's extremely unhealthy. <laughs> after I eat ramen, my face gets really puffy from all the salt. Because just ramen is just 100% salt with a few yeah. noodles thrown in, but it is good. It is very good. Top 10 saltiest things on the planet. Mm. Number one, the Dead Sea. Number two, a bowl of ramen. These bean sprouts are like, you know, the never ending staircase in Super Mario 64? Yeah. Like, you think it's the end, it just keeps going. I'm, I'm, I eat a mouth. I, I can't put that in the video. <laughs> yeah, I will. Oh, God. The Japan channel is class. Yeah. Yeah. Just the Anime Man channel is ass. <laughs> 
I swear, every time I take a mouth or bean sprouts, another one just teleports in front of me. For fuck's sake. It's like regenerating bean sprouts. We're a third of the way through this nightmare. And I haven't even oh, reached the ramen still yet. Still a sea of bean sprouts. By the end of this, you'll be more bean sprout than man. <laughs> the bean sprout man. <laughs> Tortoise and the dickhead. <laughs> I've got some of the noodles. Yeah, but you're like digging straight down. Tell the British to get their oil. He digs. <laughs> he goes straight down. You're breaking Minecraft rules, man. You don't. You're not supposed to dig straight down. But then again, I'm also at the noodles. They're very thick. Thick noodles usually absorb a lot of the broth, mm. but they've been under there for like 10, 15 minutes. So they've yeah. absorbed a lot. This is like the. This, this is like the like skimming noodles, isn't it? Mm. It's, it's mm. a lot thicker. Let me try. I see what you mean. What's that? Bing. That's a ba bamboo. Bamboo shit. Bamboo shit. <laughs> bamboo shit. <laughs> bamboo shit. <laughs> oh. It's like Chewbacca having an orgasm. I'm not okay. You know what's the worst thing about doing large portion food challenges on YouTube? Cholesterol. That too. But also the fact that the audience will not be able to feel the pain we're feeling. It's a million times more painful than it actually looks. It is, it is quite unpleasant. Yeah. And um... <laughs> Sorry. Now they can appreciate the pain. 15 minutes left. There is fucking broth juice all over my phone right now. I think I finished with the bean sprouts actually. It doesn't look like there's any left. No, oh, never mind. I found more bean sprout. <laughs> Have you ever ever felt like this? We eat a massive ramen. You gotta be taking the piss. Genuinely gone mental. It's genuinely lost his sanity. Feeling more sick than I was at the Wonka server. <laughs> That's saying a lot, because I don't think I've eaten as much as mm. the Wonka Sobo, but it just feels like more because of the oil. Wonka Sobo's not as bad as you think it is. Mm. You don't feel too unhealthy when you do it, because mm. the buckwheat soap noodles are actually relatively good. Mm -hmm. Good sort of... It's <laughs> watching you slip Go on. They're a good source of vitamin B. I also right. found out they're vegan as well. Vegan, yeah. Mm. And riboflavin. The what? <laughs> What's a vitamin called riboflavin? Riboflavin? Riboflavin. Isn't that like a 90s, like... <laughs> So it's like a 90s, 90s family 90s movie. pop band. Yeah. Riboflavin. No, Riboflavin. I'm, I'm, I'm not making this up, am I? Look that up. What is it? Riboflamin? Riboflavin. It's a... Riboflamin? Get out. No, what, what are you actually saying? Riboflavin. Riboflavin, yeah. Take that. Riboflavin. A vitamin needed for growth and good health. I think Riboflavin is like a, like a Tim Allen movie. Well, I hear you say Riboflavin one more time. I'm gonna stamp you to death with these chopsticks. I'm gonna stab you to death with these bean sprouts. <laughs> Oh, Chris, let's make a video together. Yeah, Joey, let's make a cultural video. 12 reasons Japan's good. No, Chris, let's eat a mountain of bloody ramen. See, Chris is complaining like this, but he was the one who was like, you ever the monster ramen challenge? I didn't want to do it myself, though. You might have seen it. Film it you might have seen it on YouTube before, under the channel Abroad in Japan. And I was like, yes, Chris, I have. Looks awfully a lot like you, doesn't he? Have you ever seen Chris Broad and Abroad in Japan in the same room? Didn't oh. think so. <laughs> I was a lot slimmer when I did this the first time. <laughs> Ten minutos. I'm going to be sick. I'm quite close to, to catching you up. Tortoise and the hare. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> slowly anamorphing into the tortoise. Just imagine the tortoise and the hare, but the tortoise died due to cholesterol reasons. Overdose. And so did the hare. <laughs> yeah, the hare just died as well. <laughs> Neither of them finished the rest. What's the moral of the story? Yeah. Don't do the monster ramen challenge. <laughs> Watch your cholesterol. <laughs> I really want someone to make a children's story where the moral <laughs> of the story is just like really fucking realistic. <laughs> Oh! Giving us out of the customers in here. They'd be very scared right about now. They cleared out this entire floor just for Joey and the Anime Man video. In one word, mm. how are you feeling? Shit. <laughs> what about you, Chris? I, I, I feel too messed, messed up to even think about that, to be I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a really old like, motorboat starting off. Have you ever, ever felt like shit? <laughs> I swear, like the more ramen I eat, the more appear. Because it's sucking up the broth. Physics. How many calories do you think? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Five thousand calories. Probably. Like death is inside my stomach. Death right eater. Now. So you know we're delusional we are. We start talking about Harry Potter while eating ramen. <clears throat> Harry Potter and the goblet of cholesterol. <laughs> Prisoner of carbs. <laughs> <laughs> the chamber of shit. <laughs> Come on. Five minutes left. I don't even know who's winning anymore. And to be honest, I don't know who's winning. It's kind of balanced. Everyone's a winner. I don't give a shit at this point. <laughs> even if I win, at what cost? Get to be sick on the way home. Huh? Probably gonna be sick right oh. now. Wait, yo. Feel like shit, I do. <laughs> He's so sick that he just like forgets like how he talks. <laughs> just starts talking like a normal. 
I'm gonna be fucking sick. <laughs> like Yoda. <laughs> what the fuck? You think you speak normally? I think it was proper grammatical, <laughs> grammatical structure all along. I feel like we're drunk or something. I feel drunk. I don't remember my name. What's your name? Tortoise. Christopher Borad. I'm a brown. I'm a brown. <laughs> oh, help me. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Come on, Derek. Got three minutes left for the trash talk podcast. <laughs> Two minutes, 40 seconds. It can't go any sooner. It's neck and neck. I say neck and neck in Japan. In Japanese. Kubi to kubi. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Neck and neck, kubi to kubi. I literally heard someone say neck, neck and neck this once. No, like, that's man. bullshit. Oh, I'd like to. Does it? Oh my god, your heart burn. <laughs> that's the difference from five years ago. Have you noticed that the noodles as well are kind of flaky, undercooked or something? They don't taste that great. They're like a no. three out, three out of ten. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Are you right? It's one minute remaining. Oh, actually, more like forty-five seconds remaining. <laughs> Do you want to like, just concede together? Maybe. I'm at least going to flatten out the noodle so that it at least looks like a game. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Chopstick Stein. Chopstick Stein. Fuck my life. That was fun. That sucked. <laughs> so last time I called the Animated Man channel. Why? That no, wasn't fun. <laughs> Joseph. All right. That was 30 minutes. Honestly, from just looking at it, it almost looks the same. You ate more than last time. You just did eat more than last time. You didn't even get to the noodles last time. Of course, we can't say who the winner is. We're gonna have to get our, my boy Luke in here. It's your boy Luke Craig Photography. <laughs> so you're the ultimate judge. Okay. Um, Non-biased. Just look at it and pick which one ate more. Okay. Or so Somebody. visually, I saw you pushing yours down quite a lot. Parting a dime. You wanna like sift through it? I don't really want to touch it, to be honest. <laughs> Cheating, that's all I'm hearing. But on this side, I'm seeing a lot of uh, bamboo shirts, a lot of spillage. Your side's quite clean. I think I got more soup in here. Mine was spilling like oh, it got put before me. So then decide, unbiased, who gets the 10,000 yen prize? The winner is... Yeah! 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 It was rigged, it was rigged from the start. Thank you, thank you. Rigged, <laughs> they're friends. <laughs> all right, well done, you've won, Jerry. Thank you, good job. Well done. God damn it, I was so close. This you didn't get your five year revenge, unfortunately. I didn't, and I I think if I'd gone two more mouthfuls, I would have won, but I'd also been sick everywhere. Yeah, I would have um, had, yeah. It would have, it would have gone back to the mountain that I was. The people, the good people of the Anime Man channel viewership <laughs> don't deserve to see anything like that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm glad I won. The five years didn't do much for you. Maybe uh, we can challenge each other again another five years down the road. If it's any consolation, I am still beating your manga solver. I know I didn't do it the same day as you, but I had 118. You had what? I had 101. Yeah, so 1-0. One 1-1. One, one. Alright, alright. We've, we've got to finish this. <laughs> Tortoise in the hair. The tortoise in the hair. The story's the, a lie. The, the, the never tortoise didn't win. The tortoise got fucked. The tortoise died two steps before the goal. Aesop's fables <laughs> built on a lie. Yeah, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, let us know if you would do this challenge. We don't recommend it personally, but hey, if you got some time to kill in Akihabara and you want to torture yourself, then go for it. Uh, I'll leave the location to this place down in the description below, so check it out. And also, go check out Chris's channel as well. And uh, we also did the Wonka server video quite a while back as well, which was a lot of fun, even though you didn't do it. I was the cameraman. Yeah, but you were there to watch me Aki and Charlotte die. Yeah. So yeah, that was, was a lot of fun. So go check that out as well. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more, I guess, ridiculous Matt Stoney ripoff food challenges on my channel, then uh, make sure to smash that like button. But yeah, thanks for coming, Chris, oh. and torturing oh, don't yourself. Touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> thanks for coming, Chris. Bye, everyone. Bye. Done oh. it.